Yo, 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 what's going on? You know who it is. It's your boy Quan. I'm back once again. Forgive me for not having any week one recaps. I'm a little slow to start, but don't worry. I'm going to get it on and popping. I'm going to get this thing going right now. Good morning, I should say. It's Sunday. It's football time. It's fantasy football time. But before everything starts with week three, I got to go ahead and give you the recap for week two. Okay, so this is how everything went down in our Fox Sports Fantasy Football League, leaders of the old school. Okay, yo, check it. First of all, the ballers was balling all over Texas fire this week, 111 to 68. Those PTL Tigers clawed their way to victory over the King's Tree Wildcats. You know what I'm saying? It's wild out there in the jungle, you know what I mean? But they came out on top, 98 to 89. You see how you get a little whatever. Um, anyway, A-Town Jags did they thing over top flight, just barely. But they came out on top, 104 to 102. All right, and we got Team Ramum and I Am The Game going at it this week. Team Ramum comes out on top, 83 to 76. All right, and the battle against what you expect in Rough Riders was really, really, really close. So close, in fact, that it was a tie. Wow, that's a that's a rarity in the league, but it happened this week, which isn't the greatest news. But hell, it's not a loss. You know what I'm saying? That kind of messed me up with my rankings when I put my rankings together because I had to do a little work. But anyway, in the game of the week. Yours truly, the coach of Too Hot for TV, went straight H A M. H A M. H A M. I'm sorry. But anyway, I went ham on Dome Records 123 to 65, baby. Ah, I think I have a win. Finally, I got a damn win. You know what I'm saying? I'm in all my leagues. But anyway, you don't need to know all that. Now, here are the rankings that I put together, and I believe that they are correct based upon wins, losses, and points. Okay, so this is going to get a little funky because we got ties this week. Okay, now, we got two teams with a record of 2-0. and oh. Got it? And they are the A-Town Jags in first place and Team Ramum in second place. Now... In third place, we got Rough Riders with one win, no losses, and a tie. Okay, you keeping up? You keeping up? Fourth place, we've got King Street Wildcats. Fifth place, we got I Am The Game. Sixth place, we've got Too Hot for TV. Seventh place, we got Bowlers. Eighth place, we got Peach Hill Tigers. And in ninth place, we've got Texas Fire. All of these teams have a record of 1-1, one and one. okay? Now, with a record of no wins, one loss, and one tie, what do you expect in 10th place, okay? Now, bottom two teams, we got records, not we, but they have records, of 0-2, oh and, and they are top flight in 11th place and dome records in 12th place, okay? So, that's it for week two. Pay attention for week three. If you got anybody that's injured, get up on your injury reports. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you either have Trent Richardson or Ahmad Bradshaw, but neither one of them are probably a big, a uh, good pick for this week, especially since Indy is going against, I think they're going against San Fran, so it's going to be a rough game. And it's possible they may do a running back committee. Who knows what's going to happen in that game. But anyway, good luck, and I'll see you next week. All right? Peace.